Hey y'all, what's up? I'm back, 2020, happy new year. Sorry I was gone for a while. I had to figure out my setup because my other videos, I was having my sister record them with me so she could see what's happening behind the camera, but she's working now, so she doesn't have time to help me anymore. So I had to get a screen from Amazon. So now I can see myself up here, got my whole setup together, so we're gonna be cranking out these videos, man. So, uh, how y'all doing? Happy New Year. Welcome back to the channel. This is going to be an awesome year. I'm excited. A lot of things planned. The first thing is we're going to be rebranding our channel. We're going to be calling it The Broke Photographer. Because uh, not all of us are balling and I'm broke out here. But that doesn't stop us from making awesome content. We're going to make still be able to make amazing photos on the budget. I'm going to show you how to do that because we just, we just, sometimes you just can't afford the fanciest equipment like uh, lenses and cameras, but you don't have to. It's all about your creativity and your resourcefulness and that's what we're going to show on this channel. How to do things while you're broke as a photographer. And maybe one day we won't be broke no more. That's the goal, right? We're, not, we're trying not to be broke forever. <laughs> Eventually. Sheesh. Whew. So welcome to the channel. And that's the direction for the year and we're gonna be talking about more photo shoots behind the scenes We're gonna be doing our Q&A's we're gonna be doing gear talk and reviewing stuff. Hopefully I you know Get to review more cameras this year. I have a little Fuji XE3 that I bought We're gonna talk about that. I actually did a couple shoots with it and I really enjoyed it. So we're gonna talk about that too and for the year to start, we're gonna look at the last photo shoot I did in 2019. It was a fashion shoot I did with a um, designer on Instagram. Instagram is an amazing way to find people, by the way. It's really, really easy to network on Instagram. If you have a really good portfolio, all you really have to do is just reach out to people. I reach out to designers, I reach out to stylists, I reach out to models all the time on Instagram. And for the most part, they're pretty responsive and pretty um, eager to work with you. So I reached out to her. Her name's Marshmallow Dresses on Instagram. To check her out, she's you know she could use more subscribers and followers. And I I was like, wow, I love your your stuff. Your stuff is beautiful. Let's collaborate. Let's do something cool. So she was like, oh my god, yes, let's do it. So I found an awesome model. She was so tall. Her name's Kat. She was like six foot tall, beautiful girl. You'll see her. And uh, I figured a really cool place to do a shoot like this would be something different, you know. I do a lot of shots in the city all the time. I wanted to do something a little different, something you're not expecting. Because everyone sees these dresses in these lush locations and beautiful places. So I was like, hey, how about the stinky subway? I think that could be really cool. So um, weird. she thought it was a good idea. So went down to the subway and it was wow. It blew my mind. The results we got out of the subway. First, Chicagoans did not care. <laughs> we were shooting right in the middle of the walkway and people just kept walking past through the photos and it was it was amazing. I think I posted that photo on 500px and you made editor's choice and now it has over almost 300,000 views on um, 500px which <laughs> which is crazy but Chicagoans didn't care man. People were walking giving out peace signs and being like yeah I'm on camera. But the secret was we acted like we we're supposed to be there. We didn't ask for permission. We just went there and just shot. That's one thing I always do. I just go places and just shoot till I get kicked out. Uh, we didn't get kicked out this time. We did some in the middle of the walkway. We did some on the stairs leading up to the um, red line on the Chicago subway. And the photos, man, the dress, the red, the blues. Wow, it was it was it was it was stunning. We had such an amazing photo shoot. So we shot those for lighting. I was a little worried that it was gonna be dark. So I was ready, I brought my LED light stick, which I didn't really need because it was just, so, it was bright. I was shocked, I was at ISO maybe 400, maybe 125th of a second with my 35, 1.4. I think I shot at F2 or maybe 1.4 for some of the shots and it was perfect. I didn't really need, um, I know I tried to shoot at F4 this time because I wanted to capture more of the scenery and get people in there. So it was perfect. There was enough lighting for all of that. I think I might have gone up to 800 ISO, but that's pretty, pretty, pretty clean. So I used some. I used the light in some shots. I used for, but most of the time I didn't use it. 
we even did some photos outside before we went down the subway because it was a beautiful sunny day in Chicago. I think it was about 45, 50 degrees outside. So went outside, did some photos um, with the dress, just walking, crossing the street in the middle of traffic. That was really cool. Then we went to subway, did the subway ones, then came back out, did a different outfit. So she had another dress, which we shot outside. And we shot some in the crosswalk of her walking across the street just moving on to get a lot of movement there for some reason there was this dunkin donuts sign i didn't even see oh pissed me off get back and there's dunkin donuts behind it oh. <laughs> all my shots is just dunkin donuts you'll see them. i was just oh if i had seen it i would have moved location but it was too late and i could i didn't want to remove it because it would just look weird in the background but hey yay dunkin donuts then I also had her stand on top of these um, post thingies. This it was really cool. So she was standing there with the buildings in the back, with the beautiful lighting. It was a beautiful sunny day, and man, I love sunny days for photo shoots. If there's one tip I can give everybody if you want to shoot fashion, just shoot on a sunny day. It's perfect. Sunny days are the best days to shoot because you get the nice, intense light. If you know how to work with your lighting and the time of the day, the direction of light. Your photos just takes the photos to a whole new level because everyone's scared to shoot on a sunny day because they're scared of hard shadows and this and that. But if you can master it, your work just goes up a whole new, another level. It's crazy. That was the first thing I figured out how to shoot in the sun. And since then, my photos just... It's, it's really interesting because most people tell you, oh, don't go in the sun, stay in the shade. But if you try to be different, you'll see, <laughs> you'll, you'll reap the rewards, definitely. So those are the things we're going to talk about when we do our tutorials. We're going to talk about how to sh shoot outdoors, how to work with lighting. I'm going to really work on um, incorporating a more behind the scenes approach when I do photo shoots. So that's another goal for the year. And yeah, I'm going to show you guys the photos for that. Tell me what you think. We had a lot of fun. I can't wait to work with her again. I definitely need to do a beauty shoot with her because her face is just stunning so i'm probably gonna plan that at the end of this week next week if i get everyone's schedules to sync that's another really big thing with um doing photo shoots is just scheduling getting people's schedules to sync up it's really tough so we're gonna do that and then i'm gonna show you guys the behind the scenes so thank you so much for watching please subscribe a like the video tell me what you think share if you can and to get my subscribers up yo i really do because um i just want people to send me free stuff is that weird i like free stuff if they can send me like a few lenses and cameras to play with and equipment oh that would be so great oh my god because i heard that's what they do so i would like to get free stuff so uh help me get free stuff from sony and hey sony send me free stuff haha <laughs> you know no big deal so that's the plan for the year and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Give me one second. Let me get let me get chocolate. I'll be right back. Here she is. So happy new year. Hi. Hi guys. This is chocolate. She doesn't like being on camera. See that? She just she's so camera shy. Look at her. She's not even looking on the camera. Hi. Happy New Year. That's it? Okay, well, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.